now that we are set, we're going to talk about my new ebook, Unlock the Power of Your Emotions, a guide to understanding and harnessing your feelings and values. There'll be the book is composed of nine chapters, an introduction, understanding emotions, harnessing emotions, emotions in relationships, emotions in the workplace, emotions and society, emotions and ethics, emotions and spirituality, and the conclusion. So the title, as you see, is Unlock the power of your emotions, a guide to understanding and harnessing your feelings and values. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about the uh, first, we start with the introduction, where you will see a personal story, how, how the author discovered the power of emotions in his life, an overview of the book Main Themes and Goals, a preview of the key concepts to be covered in the book, and a call to action for you to begin unlocking the power of your emotion. So, let's start. Emotions are a powerful force in our lives, shaping our thoughts, actions, and decision-making. But for many of us, the emotional landscape can be overwhelming and difficult to navigate. In the, this book, we will explore the nature of emotions, The, way, <clears throat> the ways in which they influence our lives and the tools we can use to harness their power. Just let me start with this uh, anecdote. As a young graduate student, I remember feeling lost and overwhelmed by my own emotions. Okay, it's going still. Okay, we are just behind. As a young graduate, I was saying, student, I remember feeling lost and overwhelmed by my own emotions and the way they shaped my relationships and my work. The turbulent emotional landscape seemed to govern my life and I felt unsure on, on how to navigate it. But then I discovered the power of emotions and everything changed. I began to study the science of emotions and learned about the different types of emotions and their varying intensities. I discovered the connection between emotions and value and importance of emotional self-awareness and self-regulation in ethical decision-making. I learned about the power of emotional uh, intelligence and how it can be used to navigate relationships and the workplace. Through my studies, I also learned about the impact of emotion on society and culture, and how they shape our understanding of justice and fairness. I discovered that the power of emotions in political and social movements and how they can be used to mobilize people to act and shape public opinion. As Ralph Waldo Emerson says, the eye is the first circle, 
The horizon which it forms is the second, and throughout nature this primary figure is repeated without end. This realization opened my eyes to the vast and intricate landscape of emotions and how they shape our lives. I realized that emotions are not something to be feared or avoided, but rather something to, to embrace and understand. I realized that by learning to understand and manage my emotions, I could harness the, the power to build the life I wanted. The, this realization was a turning point in my life, and it is my hope that this book will empower others to do the same. The first time I began to understand the nature of emotions and how they shaped our thoughts, actions, and decision-making. I discovered the power of emotional self-awareness and self-regulation, and I learned how to harness the power of my emotions to achieve my goals and build the life I wanted. In this book, I will share the insights and tools that I have learned through my own research and personal experience. I will explore the different types of emotions and their varying intensities, the connection between emotions and values, and the importance of emotional self-awareness and self regulation regulation in ethical decision making. We will also delve into the role of emotion in relationships, the workplace, society and spirituality. We will explore the impact of um, emotions on productivity, leadership and decision making and how emotions shape our understanding of justice and fairness. Just give me a second. So, let's start. Understanding emotions. The value, role, and importance of human emotions is a topic of much debate among scholars and experts in the field. Some argue that emotions play an essential role in human experience, shaping our cognitive process, our behavior, and our decision-making. Theorists such as William James and uh, Carl Lange propose the James-Lange theory of emotions, which posits that emotions are a physiological response to a given situation. This theory, along with the cannon Bard theory proposed by Walter Cannon and Philip Bard, which argues that emotions and physiological responses occur simultaneously, so this theory, to, along with the other theory of Cannon Bard, demonstrate the integral role of emotions in shaping our perception of the world and guiding our actions toward the attainment of specific goals. On the other hand, some experts argue that emotions can be a hindrance to rational thought and decision-making. They argue that emotions can cloud our judgment, leading us to make poor decisions or act impulsively. Emotion can also lead to conflicts and misunderstanding in relationship and can negatively impact our productivity and job performance in the workplace. 
Despite this, it is undeniable that emotions play an integral role in human experience. They are a vital component of human motivation and serve as a catalyst for artistic expression and fostering a sense of connection and meaning in our lives. However, it is important to recognize that emotions can also prove to be a source of confusion and difficulty for individuals as they may struggle to comprehend the intricacies of their emotional landscape and the way in which emotions shape their thoughts, actions and relationship with others. <coughs> so, understanding and managing emotions effectively is crucial for leading a healthy and fulfilling life. Let's see now the chapter Harnessing Emotions. Emotions are a powerful force in our life, but they can also be overwhelming and difficult to navigate. To harness the power of emotions, we must first understand our own emotional triggers. Emotional triggers are the specific situations, people, or events that cause an emotional response in us. Understanding our emotional triggers is the first step in learning how to manage our emotion effectively. Emotions are a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that play a critical role in shaping human experience, okay? So we say that. And we said also in order to effectively harness the power of emotion, it is essential to understand the mechanisms underlying emotion regulation. One key aspect of this is the identification and understanding of emotional triggers which are defined as specific, specific situations, people or events that elicit an emotional response in an individual. Theorists such as Lazarus and Gross have proposed that Emotional regulation can be achieved through the identification and man management of emotional triggers. <clears throat> Lazarus' theory of emotion-focused coping posits that individuals can regulate their emotional responses by modifying the cognitive appraisal of the triggering ev event. While Gross's method model of emotion regulation suggests that individuals can use different strategies to either enhance or inhibit the elicitation of an emotional response. The role and importance of human emotions in shaping our lives is a topic of ongoing debate among scholars and experts. Some argue that emotions are an essential aspect of human experience, allowing us to connect with others, navigate complex and social interactions, and make sense of our environment. Others argue that emotions are a hindrance to rational decision-making and can lead to impulsivity and irrational behavior. Okay, we, we report Lazarus again, who states, emotions 
is not just a feeling. Emotion is not just a feeling, but also a process that involves cognitive appraisal, physiological changes, and behavioral or expressive responses. Now, please, try to understand this is very important. The components of emotion involves cognitive appraisal, so the thought, the thinkings, the thinking we do when we feel that emotion. The physiological changes, so the bodily changes, accompanied with that feeling. And the behavior and the expressive, or the expressive responses to that. So there are three components. Cognitive appraisal, physiological changes, and behavioral or expressive response. This highlights the importance of understanding the full process of emotions and how they can be regulated through cognitive appraisal and management of emotional triggers. Now, let me tell you a story. I remember the time when I was going through a difficult breakup. The emotions I felt were overwhelming, and I found myself struggling to cope. I would constantly replay the past events in my head I would get triggered by things that reminded me of my ex-partner. Every time I heard a song that we used to listen to together, or saw a place we used to go, I would get hit with a wave of sadness and anger. These were my emotional triggers. But then I realized that I could continue living my life. I could not continue living my life in this way. So I decided to take control of my emotions. I started by identifying my emotional triggers and writing them down, and this helped me to become more self-aware and understand the patterns that shape my emotional experiences. I also began to develop, develop techniques for regulating and managing my emotions in the moment, such as deep breathing exercises, mindfulness practices, and journaling my feelings. Over time, I was able to understand One moment. Over time, I was able to understand my emotional triggers <coughs> sorry, <coughs> and learn how to manage my emotions effectively. I no longer felt overwhelmed by emotions. And what was I was able to move to move on from the breakup. I was able to build a new life for myself, and I realized that understanding my emotional triggers was the first step in enhancing the power of my emotions. One way to identify our emotional triggers is to keep a journal and record, record our feelings and the situations that cause them. This can help us to become more self-aware and to understand the patterns that shape our emotional experiences. For example, you might notice that you feel anxious when you are in large crowds or that you feel angry when you are criticized. By identifying your emotional triggers, you can begin to anticipate them and take steps to manage your emotion in, in the moment. So, we have said that emotions are a complex and multifaceted 
phenomenon that play a vital role in shaping human experience. Theorists such as Richard Lazarus have emphasized the importance of emotional self-awareness in understanding and managing our emotional experience. One key aspect of emotional self-awareness is the ability to identify our emotional triggers, the specific situations, people or event that elicit emotional responses in us. As Lazarus states, emotion is not a thing that happens to us, but rather something we do. Okay, end of quote. One way to achieve this level of self-awareness is through the practice of journaling. However, this approach has been also subject to debate. Critics argue that journaling can be overused it can make people more self-conscious, leading to more negative emotions. Furthermore, it is argued that journaling is not always the best way to identify emotional triggers and that other methods, such as therapy or self-reflection, might be more effective. Okay, let's recap. The ability to identify and understand our emotional triggers is a crucial aspect of emotional self-awareness and effective emotional management. While journaling can be a useful tool in this process, it is important to consider other methods as well and weigh the pro and cons before making a decision. So, once we understand our own emotional triggers, we can begin to develop techniques for regulating and managing our emotion in the moment. These might include deep breathing exercises, mindfulness practices, or other forms are of relaxation. For example, Deep breathing can help to calm the body and the mind in the face of intense emotions, while mindfulness practices can help to focus the mind and increase self-awareness. In addition to regulating our emotion in the moment, we can also cultivate positive emotions and build emotional resilience. This might involve engaging in activities that bring us joy, practicing gratitude or developing positive relationships. For example, spending time with loved ones Practicing a hobby or volunteering can all help to boost feelings of happiness and fulfillment, while practices like gratitude jour journaling can help to cultivate positive emotions over time. One of the most important aspects of harnessing emotion is the connection to ethical decision-making. Emotional self-awareness and self-regulation are, are crucial for making ethical decisions as they serve as a foundation for understanding the nuances of one's own emotional landscape. This understanding, in turn, facilitates the ability to navigate the complex emotional experiences that often arise in a decision-making context. 
theorists such as Daniel Goleman and his concept of emotional intelligence posit that the ability to recognize, understand, and manage one's own emotions as well as the emotions of others is essential for mating, making ethical decisions. However, there remains ongoing debate on the role of emotions in ethical decision-making, with some positing that emotion can cloud rational judgment and lead to impulsive or unethical behavior. As philosopher Martha Nussbaum states, quote, the emotions are not the opposite of reason. They are part of the necessary background that makes reason possible. End of quote. Uh, for example, when we are in the grip of strong emotions, such as anger, it can be difficult to think clearly and make ethical choices. By learning to regulate our emotions, we can make more thoughtful and reasonable decisions. This can also help to prevent emotional reactions that might be harmful to ourselves or others. I remember the time when I was working as a manager at a large corporation. One day, one of my employees came to me with a proposal for a new project that would benefit the company in the long term, but would require a significant investment up front. I was excited about the potential of the project and wanted to move forward with it. However, my emotions got the best of me and I became anxious and stressed about the financial risk involved. In that moment, I realized that my emotional response was clouding my judgment and that I needed to take a step back and regulate my emotions before making a decision. I took a few deep breaths and did a mindful exercise, which helped me to calm my mind and focus on the facts. I then evaluated the proposal objectively and realized that it was a sound investment. I made the decision to move forward with the project and it ended up being a huge success for the company. This experience taught me that the importance of emotional self-awareness and self-regulation in ethical decision-making. As the philosopher Aristotle said, now, really, this is an, a very powerful quote. And Aristotle said, anyone can become angry, but it is easy. But to be angry with the right person to the right degree at the right time for the right purpose and in the right way that is not easy look i'm going to read, say that again because i like this quote so much it's so powerful and understanding this quote will empower you Anyone can become angry. That is easy. But to be angry with the right person, the, to the right degree, at the right time, for the right purpose, 
and in the right way, that is not easy. So meditate on this one. By learning how to manage our emotions, we can make more thoughtful and reasoned decisions and act in ways that are fair and just. To sum up, harnessing emotions is a continuous process that requires self-awareness, emotional intelligence and strategies to manage emotions. Understanding our emotional triggers, developing techniques to regulate emotions, cultivating positive emotions and building emotional resilience are all key components of harnessing emotions. Moreover, emotional self-awareness and self-regulating self-regulation are crucial for making ethical decisions, which is the foundation of creating a more just and fair society. Right, that was not a short video. I want to introduce you to my new ebook about unlocking the power of your emotions. This ebook is available to download straight away from Amazon.com. I put the link in the, at the bottom of this video. You can use that link to access the page where you can, from where you can download, download this book, which I assure you, it will give you so much insights on how to understand emotions and how to manage emotions and how to become a better person that you will thank me later. Do not miss this opportunity to make, to offer yourself the best tool to improve your life. Thank you very much for watching and have a good read.